if the prophecies are true, then the redhead king returns. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Chris, and welcome to the build up for Saul Canelo Alvarez versus Callum Smith in a huge super middleweight unification extravaganza. Live in December 19th in Texas in the USA, promoted by Matchroom Boxing and broadcast on, yep, The Zone. The same The Zone that Canelo had a huge lawsuit with about a month ago and got freed from that contract, Canelo is now back Fighting on the zone. Man, boxing's, boxing's wild, isn't it? It's great for boxing that Canelo is back. Canelo is a huge draw in North America and him being back in action in 2020 and in such a good fight against, this, this is the number one light heavyweight slash middleweight against the number one super middleweight. And Callum Smith is undefeated. Oh, I'm so excited for this fight. Right, let's get right into it. Oh, actually, if you're new, remember to subscribe, and if you're already a subscriber, what up? Remember to like the video. Now, let's get on to this with the challenger. Callum Smith is the current WBA and Ring Magazine Super Middleweight World Champion and generally recognised as the number one super middleweight in the world because he won the World Boxing Super Series The Middleweights last year. He's also a former British and European Super Middleweight Champion. His record, a perfect one. 27, was it 27? It is 27. 27 wins, zero losses, and 19 wins coming by way of knockout. He's 30 years old, same age as me, and he's from Liverpool in the United Kingdom. Smith likes to fight at range. He's got a good jab, he's got knockout power, and he's got something that I can't remember. <laughs> Decent defence, I wrote down decent defence, he's got decent defence as well. Pretty good movement, not spectacular movement, but you know, he moves well around the ring, uses his jab. Callum Smith's most notable fights include victory over George Groves in the World Boxing Super Series final, a huge first round TKO victory of Rocky Fielding back in a domestic dust up, and also victory over Hassan, Hassan and Dam and Jackham. It's now time, ladies and gentlemen, but for being honest, mostly gentlemen, to introduce the number one pound for pound fighter in the world, Saul Canelo Alvarez. He's a former WBC, WBA, and WBO super welterweight world champion. He's a former WBC, WBA, and IBF middleweight champion. He's the former WBA regular super middleweight champion? I don't count that as a world title. I don't recognize the, the regular belt, so in my opinion, Canelo is actually a three-weight world champion. Come at me. And also, Canelo is a WBO light heavyweight world champion. The reigning and defending, we're well not really defending, but he's the reigning WBO light heavyweight champion, which is kind of mental to think about, that he went from super welterweight to light heavyweight, and now he's going back to the super middleweight. I'm talking too fast, I'm excited, sorry. He's got a very impressive record, 53 wins, 1 loss, 2 draws, and 36 wins coming by way of knockout. He is also 30 years old, the same age as me and Callum Smith, and he is from Guadalajara, Mexico. In terms of Canelo's style, he's arguably a complete boxer. He's got brilliant boxing technique, he's got KO power, he's got good movement, he's got pretty quick hands, and he's got Excellent stamina. He's sort of got everything. <laughs> he can also dig a hell of a punch. Some of the punches that he took from Granny Golovkin and didn't even flinch. That is a fucking tough guy. <laughs> Canelo's most notable fights includes a close controversial victory over Granny Golovkin, a victory over Danny Jacobs, KO victory over Sergei Kovalev, a KO victory over Amir Khan, KO victory over Callum Smith's brother, Liam Smith, the list goes on. The guy even fought Matthew Hatton, Ricky Hatton's brother, to win the world title back in 2011. Canelo's been a world champion for nine years across, technically, 
technically four divisions, but really three divisions. Don't know if you can tell, but I'm quite a big fan of Canelo. I'm actually a big fan of Callum Smith as well, but you know, you gotta just, you gotta recognize talent when you see it. Subscribe. So yeah, like I said, this is such a good fight. You get the number one light heavyweight slash middleweight against the number one super middleweight and we're merging the WBA belts, woohoo! We're getting rid of that piece of shit WBA regular belt and we're merging it with the proper WBA super belt. Whoosh! I like it. So, what's gonna happen? In my opinion, Callum Smith has got a big height, well not in my opinion, this is a fact, Callum Smith has got a big height and reach advantage in this fight and for him to try and beat Canelo, he has to use it. He really, has to use that reach advantage. In an ideal situation in this fight for Callum Smith, he needs to try and keep Canelo at range with his incredibly long reach, his good jabs, and his pretty good counter punches as well. That's crucial for Callum Smith to win this fight because Canelo's punch resistance, like I said, is probably the best punch resistance. I say him and Gennady Golovkin have got the two best punch resistances out of any boxer in the world right now. So Smith ain't gonna stop Canelo Alvarez. So the only way is, and Smith is not a pressure fighter either. So because he's too big and long, and he fights like a sort of um, upright, like a kind of upright, long range fighter. He can't. He doesn't really fight like a come forward sort of pressure fighter. So the only way that Callum Smith can really win is to sort of box at range. In my opinion, I might be wrong, but that's just what I think. Smith's only big fight was against George Groves in the World Boxing Super Series final. Callum Smith kind of had an easy run up uh, in terms of opponent to get to the final and George Groves retired immediately after that fight. I think Smith's lack of big fight experience will hurt his chances of winning in this fight. Because when you compare that to Canelo, whew, in Canelo's last four fights, right? In his last four fights, Canelo has fought and beaten Gennady Golovkin at middleweight and a majority points decision. And then he stepped up in weight to fight Rocky Fielding for a bullshit nonsense fake world title and knocked him out. And then he went back down to middleweight and beat Danny Jacobs. And then he stepped up two weight divisions to fight the much bigger Sergei Kovalev and knock him out to take that title and become the number one at light heavyweight. Wow. It's taken big risks like he has that's made him the pound for pound number one. Pound for pound to me means irrespective of pounds, irrespective of weight, who's the most skillful. And Canelo has shown that by breezing through the weights and being un like his skill being unaffected in terms of being able to win. Does that make any sense? I don't know. <laughs> it sounded good though. Canelo's got a very good chance of winning this fight if he uses his superior boxing technique, his excellent punch resistance, his superior stamina and his sort of experience in big fights. I think all of that will come together and meaning that Canelo will have an excellent chance of beating the bigger, taller, undefeated Callum Smith in this fight. This is, I can't say it enough, but this is a fucking brilliant fight. And to anyone that's watching, thank you. Thank you for watching. But we're not done yet, because now it's time for the prediction. Prediction! I predict Saul Canelo Alvarez's superior boxing technique, punch resistance and stamina will beat Callum Smith and become the number one super middleweight in the world. Now let's just take a little second, right? Let's pause, take a little second to think about this. If Canelo wins this fight, he would theoretically be the number one middleweight, the number one super middleweight, and the number one light heavyweight in the world. What are your thoughts on this fight? Do you think Callum Smith can keep Canelo at range and outbox him? Do you think Canelo goes in and just bulldozes Callum Smith? Please let me know in the comments below. I genuinely want to talk about this fight all the way up to December 19th. So keep those comments coming. If you're new, remember to subscribe if you're into it. If you're a current subscriber, what up? What up? I never, I literally never say that. And be if you're a current subscriber, thank you so much for continuing to watch my videos. Peace.